you're gonna dump a car in the water and you know you got your entire life riding on that. This is not a stolen car. You gotta know. You got your there. fingerprints in that car. This is linked to a murder. You're gonna put it in a body of water that you are confident it's gonna be deep enough. There's your car right in here. Something flat right there. All right, see that? There's a car right there. Right there is a car. Guaranteed. Eddie Connor, serial killer, bank robber, and we have two people that we were looking for today. Now we are bringing an incredible team together. We have Mike Sullivan and his brother John from Sunshine State Sonar, who started watching AWP about two, three years ago. Yeah. And you really dove into this where you were like watching Sonar for a year trying to figure this out. And now you guys have an incredible track record where you've now solved seven cases. Yes, uh, six, yeah, we found six people so far, yeah. Perfect. So um, yeah, it's you know inspired by you and everything your organization has done and you. And, and uh, it's been amazing to watch and be part of this movement with you. Well, so. we appreciate you being here because this is quite the story that we're going to talk about today. We also have a good friend of mine, Dave, who lives here in Florida. And we're bringing Bill back up to help us out as well, who you have a track record of eight now or nine? Uh, total is 11, uh, nine on land and two in the water with you. Okay, and you've been down with Down Under Dan in Australia too, where you where you end up solving one. Yeah, so we sol solved uh, Dale Nicholson, uh, went missing in New Norfolk, uh, Tasmania. So it took us about uh, 70 hours to get to him and 31 minutes to find him. We appreciate all of you coming together to collaborate with us on this one because this is quite the story. So as I said, we have Eddie Connor, who in 2015 ended up, we believe, ended up killing William and Ralph. So we have Eddie who is from the Alabama, Florida area. We're talking Crestview, Florida. We're talking Florida, Alabama. But for some reason, he gets a ride from his buddy who is James Sweet, who ends up taking him up to Indiana. Anderson, yeah. Which is about eight hours away. Yes. But in 2015, we have Eddie that now wants to come back down to Florida, but he needs a ride. He tells Bonnie, in fact, he tells us a little bit about this story. He tells Bonnie, his sister, yeah, basically tells his sister, look, I'm gonna square up with Ralph and uh, take care of Ralph. Basically told his sister that he was gonna kill Ralph. And, uh, you know, he made good on that promise. Yeah. And, uh, you know, she she later came forward, Bonnie came forward later and told authorities that. So then we have a story that said that Ralph called William over and said, hey, Bill, he goes by, by Billy, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. So he calls Billy over and says, hey, Eddie's coming over here. I don't like what I think is gonna go down. You need to come over here. And that's the last that we know of anything about Ralph and Billy. And we don't know Billy. what transpired that day at that house. All we know is that there was signs of a violent struggle, uh, blood, traces of blood left throughout the apartment, and both men are missing along with that Pontiac Aztec. Yeah, and so we're looking for a black Pontiac Aztec that we're looking for. So 2015, now we have Eddie that ends up down here in Florida. Eddie ends up getting killed in a home invasion after he robs a bank. So what we want to do is we, you know, we want to take everybody back into our breakfast meeting this morning where we talked a little bit more about the case, the locations that we have, 40 plus locations, and we're going to break right now and get to work. Okay, so let's just kind of dive into this case. You know, so we have Ralph and we have William Bragg. And you've been talking to the family. So Lori reached out to me via email, and then you've been in communication with her. So you really spearheaded this. We told her that you were taking the lead on it. Yes, yeah, so I talked to Lori and Amanda. Ralph had dated this gentleman, Eddie, Eddie Connor's sister, for over a decade. So they had a, you know, close, they lived together and everything else. Well, Eddie always hated, her name is Bonnie, always hated Ralph. He always had a thing about him. He told her that he was gonna, you know, he was gonna kill him someday. So it sounds like all the players in this store, in this case, are telling different versions. I've heard two different versions. Right, so we have two different versions. We have the one version of Eddie shows up at Colleen's house. So the story from Colleen is that he shows up with the car. Yeah. He shows up with a foul odor, the vehicle stunk, and he was acting erratic. Disappears for three hours, comes back on foot. Ben's story is that Colleen is at his house, calls Ben from from Tom from gas station up here. Yeah. And then Ben gives them a ride back here. Now we have a two and a half mile, or two and a half hour walking. Yes. Two of them stay here for a week before they then move up to Florella to where he then moves in and we have like the address of where he moved in. Once they were up in Florella, then a little while later, then they acquired the red van. They yeah. never paid for the van from the neighbor and then that's the same red band that is used later on up in Bowling Green, Kentucky for the bank robbery. 
Yes, that's right. Their mailing address is on file is over here on Popcorn. Okay. So that's how Eddie and and uh, Colleen, both of their addresses ended up on Popcorn. Yeah. And that was just like in, yeah. in the police reports. Okay, so, so we have several different stories and locations to search then. Yes. So right now I have 40 that are actually marked. But let me give you the rundown of what I have on this one. Two things. One is, do we focus on Colleen's home that's listed in the paperwork here for where she was leaving? And if you zoom in, I think this is where that trailer is at that's no longer there. That right there is the old trailer pad. Okay, yep. Yeah. So then that brings me to start breaking this down, really focusing on the story of when we have this pickup at Tom Thumb. Yeah. So if we go with that, we have a half hour drive with a three to three and a half, or I'm sorry, with a two to two and a half hour walk back. So up here, this is location on, at the boat ramp here. Yeah. And there's two boat ramps on the Yellow River. Yeah. With a possible second location down here on Piney Road 2. If you, if you take the road back that he was taken back to Tom Thumb, that is the exact timing of three hours before he ends up calling you back. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's why I'm really interested in that one because the rest of these are kind of on private property and on the side of the road. Yeah, I can't picture somebody trying to get rid of a, a you know a vehicle on private property, especially you know, a vehicle involved in possibly on the side. So, so this morning we have three incredible heads. I mean, you know, how do we want to break this down? Because all of us just hanging out in the same spot together. It's not, no, we want to see us use We want to divide and conquer here. So how can we divide? Being that he's out of shape, I, yeah, I, I think that he took more time to get that vehicle into a place here that was safe to, to hide it, and then he walked a, a short distance. I don't think that. Or he, he had some help. You think he was possibly? Think he had help with somebody? Some picked him up. I mean, it did take three hours. Yeah. Before he called. So he's get rid of it and then call for help later. But I mean, I'm thinking that like maybe an hour walk, 45 minute walk, 30 minute walk. I don't think he's three hour. Walk. I think it's more like but it he's to, had to put it in first. It has to be secluded as well. So yeah. yeah. So so you want to, Tom Thumb? We're gonna make that like ground except zero. For, except for you're gonna go to the river. Uh, yeah. This yeah. this is my number one position. So okay. after we'll I do go this first. So we're gonna work out from the Tom Thumb. So is that what we're gonna do right now for today? Work out from the Tom Thumb. Yeah. who have all but given up on finding their loved ones, this team is a last hope. cracking cold cases for free. We won't, we won't go down there. But, oh yeah, I think we can see the bottom now. Huh? The whole thing? The whole section. Like this section. Oh, you know, I was 99% confident on this one. Damn, no kidding. And look at the other stuff. It's, yeah, it's shallow as hell. So do we want to check the Yellow River more on the six mile radius since this this is the, I mean, or do you think the, I, I, I think the whole thing's going to be just like this. Yeah, I have a feeling too. Yeah, I think so too. Google Earth, well, zoom out. Plus when you look at it, this part of the Yellow River is going to be the furthest location out. Yep, so I yep. think that we really need to go back to the Tom Thumb and then let's have you work the north, we'll work yep. the south or vice versa. Yeah, I was it. thinking even going like east towards Florella and hit that Lake Jackson and okay. bang that. So why don't you? So you got the Star Topo map that I yes, sent you. Yes, I do. So why don't you? Yeah, why don't you just work the Florella area yep. and then we'll start working the Tom Thumb out. Yeah, that's what we'll do. And we'll go from there. And I'll call you if we see anything. We'll call you right away. And okay. That's what we'll do. Yeah, and we'll call you if we find anything. Sounds awesome. great. All right, let's roll. Deal. All right, Tom Thumb, right here, ground zero. Seven Third Street, on the left. Tom Thumb. Tom Thumb. Yes. All right, so we're right now we're here, ground zero. And I would say this is my most, one of my 
ones I really want to check. So let's go over here first. So we can go down the road, make a right on Sunnyside, and then left at like the power lines. So it, what are you doing first? This one right down here. Oh, there's a gate on it. A chain on it. Let, let me go. Let me go talk to these people and see how long they lived here, and what they know about this over here. Hi there. Go away or come in. <laughs> Hi there. How are you? Hi. Hey, we are working a uh, missing person double homicide. Oh. Okay. And so our question for you is, how long have you been here? Seventeen and years. So has the chain always been up over here? 2015 is what we're searching. It, that would be almost impossible to answer. Do you know if the body of water is deep enough to hide a car? In order to get a car in there, dude, you'd have to do 150 mile an hour to get it past the, the mud. Dude, there's almost zero chance that there's a car back there. Okay. Appreciate All your right. help. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet Thank you. you. Thank you. Good luck. I hope you'll find it. Thank you. Yeah. Sunnyside Avenue. Sure. That Sunnyside does Avenue. not look passable. That's where the road shows me to go in. Yeah, okay, so that's all growing in. Let's see if there's another way in. Uh, let's go down here and see if we can get into it this way. Right here. Do you want to walk up here a little bit and see if we can get in here? Or if it's worth it? And the road goes that way there. Oh, it's all new subdivision stuff up here. Yeah, that's a whole new subdivision. And we're standing right here. That's that way. Pond is really over farther that way. I don't think we're getting through here. We can go up to the corner and I see. Say if we come up to the, that new paved road, driving that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, you want to split? You want to hit the north and we'll hit the south, or vice versa? This is really filled in. All right, you're going that way, I'm going this way, and then I'll go hit that other one as well if I can get to it. So if he's from the area and he knows about it, because he wasn't initially from Indiana. He was from the Florida, Alabama, uh, Crestview, uh, Mossy, Mossy Oak or something, Mossy Brook town as well. So he, he knows this area, but how well does he know the area? And is the story of the Tom Thumb with Ben a real legit story? So we should run into another road over here. It'll take us right up to it. it. Yeah, out of the way. But looks like this pond is dried up. There's a little water over there in it. This actually is a good spot to dump somebody with how quiet it is. But yeah, look how down, how far down it is. We I mean, certainly could. We should have brought the sonar ball with us. We didn't. Yeah, see over there the way that comes in, no. Hey, did you make it yours? I made it mine, yeah. So, it's wait, two wait. Inches deep. Huh? It's two inches deep. Okay, ours isn't. Ours could be, I mean, ours could be three feet deep. It could be eight feet deep. I can't tell. I should have brought a sonar ball, and I didn't. Got it. So, um, you um, you want to grab the sonar ball, and then we're going to head over to the other one. We'll, we'll check that one, and then you want to come check this one for us? Sure. I'll, I'll be right there. He 
Yeah, that one's dry as a bone. All right, so that clears that one. It's only gonna be a couple inches right there. Now, what's the best way for us to get out of here? I think we have to go back the same way we came. What do you think? We gotta go meet up with Bill. You ready for that? Hey, Bill. Hello. I don't I'm know. I'm thinking uh, 11 inches. This is 11 inches? Yeah. <laughs> no. We're gonna have a car with an eight foot hole down here. I have no idea. I mean, the other well, one we the can see the bottom. sticks in there, it's just because the other side, and this is as high as it gets because of the rains we've had in the last 24 hours. All right. But All right. 14 uh, inches at that pipe. I mean, 14. at that. 14. No, look, it's deeper than 14. Getting a little wet. Well, yeah, it's gonna be 14 inches there. You gotta cast in the middle. That's the deepest part, I think. Too shallow. Yeah, that will be the deepest part. You're too shallow there, which means it's less than three feet. Yeah. Hundred and forty-nine feet, Bill. Perfect, yeah. because it's so it's so close to it, uh -huh. so that that it's like six inches. All right. Let's just put it right here and get it calibrated. All right. There you go. Go ahead and try it now. Too shallow, it says, and then nothing. Yeah, it still says 150 feet. I don't know why it's reading like that. I mean, Bill, it's 150 feet. We gotta, mm -hmm. we gotta dive it. Well, I can see it. I can see the stick on the bottom. Agent. It's six inches, and I mean, it's just all—it's so silty. All right. Yeah. All right. That marks off four locations now so far. 36 to go. Yep. Anyway, uh, Mike texted, said that Jackson Lake in Florida is 100% clear, and then they're heading over to, now there's there's a crazy story. There's some psychics online that did like a podcast. You saw that, right? And did you see that one? I did. And so the psychics said that we're gonna find them in a lake, a fish, uh, that looks like a fish, or a fish lake. And so, I don't remember what the name of the lake is. It might actually be called Fish Lake, but it's in the shape of like a uh, big goldfish is what it looks like. It's over here, it's down here. Doesn't look, that look like a fishy? Does that not look like a fish? So it's going to be right here. You have arrived. This one here with the first cell sign, private property. I'll put red blues on. The yeah. gate's got a lock, padlock on it. So we got four down, uh, we're at another one, but we got tons of no trespassing signs, private property, lock gates and everything. And it looks like the home has been here for a while. So my guess is trying to get a hold of the property owner to see if they know Eddie Connor or if there was access to this, these ponds back in 2015. So, yeah. so, yeah. so I'm going to- We're on something promising right now. You're what? So, we're on something promising right now, dude. Look, I just sent you a screenshot we got. This is the one that we talked about. It was right there in town. Remember there was a two of them? Um, that's so right, yeah, right that, 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 that's the one I was just gonna call you about to make sure you hit that before you hit, before you went down to Fish Lake. Dude, that's where we are. It's 11 feet. I've got the barber out there. We got 11 feet, not 10 something, like 10, seven. This is a nice secluded area back here. This is perfect, dude. We got the boat in the water right now. I'm about to jump in. All right, excellent. Yeah, keep us posted. Okay, I'll talk to you a little bit. All right, bye. Okay. Phone number. First number, 850. Hello? Hi, is this uh, Catherine? Yes. Hey, Catherine, my name is Jared, and I am up in Laurel Hill uh, at your property. We're working a double homicide from 2015, and just seeing if you could answer a couple of uh, questions for me. My husband's fixing to come in the house, and he is normally the one up there. Okay, let me see if he can hear you on this phone. Okay, thanks. 
See if you can hear that. I'm going to have to take my gate down and uh, go over some pretty good ridges. Right. To get it in, right. Get it. I don't think they could. It, yeah, it, it, and, that, and that's the information I'm looking for is, has that gate been up since 2015 that nobody's been through there? And it's always been your property, like you've never rented it out? Never. Okay. No, we, we never rented it out. Okay, so so the gate is either locked or you guys are there, one of the, one of the two. It's, it's locked mainly because we live yeah. about 60 miles from there. Right. Yeah, and, there's, and it's got cameras all around. Okay. Okay, well, perfect. I appreciate your time today, and and, and uh, thanks for the information. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Okay. Well, let's consider that one not of interest now, in my opinion. I think we're all in agreement on that one. Oh, I got to see who the private property. I got to see who the property owner is real quick. That's plenty deep. He said, yep. Yeah. Go ahead and search. He said it should be about eight feet. So right over here is where that road comes straight in to the pond. Yeah, it's only four and a half feet deep right here. A lot more shallow by the power line wow. here. What is left side of my screen, what is that? No height to it, no big shadows. And we have no depth. It's a crossover, so it's gonna be taller than a car. All right, pull it up. Didn't even hit five. Four and a half, 4.8. Real shallow. over just into the Alabama state line. And this one is right off of the road. There, it looks like there's a, a, a actually a boat ramp on that one to the right, or at least a dirt one. A boat ramp on this one? On Steel Road coming up. It looks like a like a dirt ramp. Yeah. You know, it doesn't. It, it looks more, more like a ramp than it does a, a beach. throw the ball there, but I don't see anything going in there, Bill. Yeah, it, it looks shallow from what I see, but you got like there's, a, like, there's a, like a trail on that side. A little beaver dam or something there. Okay, we're connected. Six feet. You want to further, let me go in the right corner. Or? Seven feet. Six feet. It's a lot deeper than I thought it would be right there. If I was dumping, though, I wouldn't use this one. Unless it took two and a half hours to get it to sink. Yeah, five feet. Six feet. No anomaly. No anomaly there, no. Let me just go to the right real quick on the other side of the beaver dam. I'll throw it in, but... Okay. Six feet. Yeah, but he's not getting to that with this here. No. Unless it changed. All right. Better than him. We'll call this one good? Yeah. All 
All right, so those two are still open. That one was too deep, so we didn't put eyes on that one. Oh, we've not put eyes on this one. Let me mark that one back off. So we're, we're done with the one mile radius and the two mile radius. What about the orange up top? I, I like over the Alabama line the, only because- the, the, This is the one we're at right now. Yeah. But we have this one. Yeah. So we can I, go, go check that one. I think there's another one too. I was just looking at, um, I uh, marked it. Well, those are the only two that I have besides way over at the river, but the river's low. So we're not gonna focus on that one right now. Do you have me- uh... Now keep in mind this one that's, we've got some distance on that one. So since we're close to the north one, let's go hit that one. Okay, I think we, we hit all those. I just like over the line because he had to walk back and, and it's three miles from there, okay. three to four. Mm -hmm. And that's about, an, if, if, you, we walk, if he walks at three miles an hour, which is a standard gate, it's an hour. And so if he got there in 30 minutes, decided he, he finally got the car underwater or whatever, it took him 20 minutes or whatever to get the car in, into where he wanted to do it. Now, and it took him 20 minutes to get there. So you're talking about almost two hours right there. And then he, let's say he's at the gas station for 30 minutes. You know, it meets the time frame. Okay. Three miles makes more sense to me just because of, of the amount of time it took for him to go, put the car in, get to the gas station, wait for Ben to pick him up and then get home. Okay, so we'll make a, uh, so we'll turn around, make the next right on to 20, next right and then left when it tees and the pond's right over there. So let's go knock out this other one and then we'll start heading south for some other stuff that makes sense. Over here with the cows on the left. Got a plant in the middle, shallow on the left, no idea on the right. All right, so we'll search this one. So Ben's renting this out, so he's the one that was on the property, and then the nephew, Chambers, owns this one. Ah, uh, it's unlocked, so we can just open it up, he said. Yep. Yeah, this whole thing's shallow right here. I'm just gonna go short first. Five? Five feet. Yeah. I mean, of course, but I mean. But these are all just like Nebraska where they're, they're not that, there's just no depth to them. And he'd have to know the depth, like. Yeah. Yeah, four awesome. feet. Because usually when we go that far, then I lose service. Oh, it's, it's six right there. That's not deep enough though. Yeah. Seven, six and a half. So where's it gonna be then, guys? So everything in green we have 100% put ice on and covered and checked. These two are the fish ponds. And then the one of interest that was close enough to walk to was this one here, that there was no house at the time. And this is 85 coming up. So I don't see any cars there. Oh, I think this whole thing's shallow, but I can't tell. You can see the bottom there. I don't see anything, but I mean, it appears to be shallow there. And I mean, I want to believe that I'm seeing the bottom, but I can't be 100% certain, but it looks clear, the water does. Where are we right now? We are right. just south of Where Laurel Hill. Where do we want to go to next, people? These two are off the beaten path, so you really gotta know about those. That one's off the beaten path, so you gotta know about that one. This one is off the road. 
And then this one, this one's really interesting because this, here's my, my question on this one. This is like a, um, oh, uh, military guy that collects stuff. And so you figure guys that collect military stuff, they love to talk to people. Does he know this guy? And then does he know that he can have access to these two bonds by chance? I don't know. So that's why I put those on there. This one, I felt like it was too far off the road. You're not yeah, going to get shallow, and it's shallow. Yeah. So do you want to go check these two? I mean, again, we, we got to push back to them, but I mean, we can get to them. I, I, think, I think we do the ones that are closest to the road first, like clear all those ones that are on the main roads that he would have walked. But go with this, this, this theory. Take Ben out of it. Let's say that he never called Ben from Tom Thumb and that Colleen says that he came walking home. What if Colleen was never at Ben's house and her story is the correct one? And then you have this one of this was her home at the time. The pad is there. So the trailers know that they're there. But you have right here. And across the street. Uh, I don't think that one was one. It might be, oh. Yeah, I don't know if you're getting into it, but yeah, you got across the street, but then you also have this one here. It's a dirt trail. It looks like a dirt trail right coming out of her yard. But then, but she said it, he was three hours later to come home. But that's our, that's the story. And so then the, it also brings this into play. Because he walked it home. Uh, this is right next to the road as well. Yeah, I like that one. So do we, do we want to focus on this area then around what her alleged home is. If the other ones uh, look like they're all in the backyards of places, yeah. he, he he has to get in through the gate or whatever it is and then get there. He has to know the property owner or he has to know that the property owner is, is not there because they have tenants or they don't have tenants or it's just vacant home. Yeah, like two, two locations. So we can go check this one here on County Road 2 on the way to the boat ramp here to double check that one and then drop down to the one on the left. This there. one over here. And then we can do this one and then circle back to her house over here. Okay. You can do that. Water here, water there, but way too shallow. You're not getting a car in there. So there's a road close sign. We want to get down to the river. So right here is where we go down the river. It's kind of interesting, huh? Mm -hmm. It's kind of where you bring a person. Yeah, I can see that, huh? Let's see if it's deep enough. Yeah. But I think the this whole... This the yellow? Yeah, so yeah. the whole river's down. But let's see. Because this would be, uh, this would be prime. oh, no, there's no dumping allowed, so they won't be here. <laughs> yeah, you can see the bottom there. Yeah, you can see the bottom here. You'd have to drive it down river. <laughs> hundred yards, maybe. So it's up there at that pond. green can, I think. a pond right across the road from her house. Yep, it's a hundred feet up. And this driveway on your right, you see, is the road directly to the river. And it's closed and it's locked. Uh, that, you're not getting over that undulation. So her house is back to the right there. Okay. Which is no longer there. Yeah. And that fence has been there for a lot longer than 15. Yeah, but who's to say he didn't just crank that gate open? Yeah, I mean, all, all, all it had was just the... Because you have the homeowner there, that's why. And it's noon. That's the other thing. We're dealing with it's noon. Uh, I, would, I, would go, I would go all the way back to Yellow River back there. I know that Yellow River's narrow, but you got three big bends in the, in the river right here. What's the access to the Yellow River in this section? Meaning, like, is there a, a Where close... we were, that was it. That's it. There was like, there's like no other access. Well, but he, he didn't, he, he ended up back at either Ben's or his girlfriend's house, right? right. Again, the stories are, are not correct. One, someone's stories is, someone's lying. Why don't, we, why don't we clear one story and then we clear the other story? Does that make sense? Okay. Mm, looks pretty fancy. It's not dumb. 
All right, so all the this is brand brand new construction. Okay, now take a look, Steve. Take a look at this. This was a hidden place back in the day. This subdivision was not here. And come take a look at this. Driving wise, we're 4.3 miles from Auburn. So, driving wise, yeah. Driving wise, so, so that, you, that's close enough to walk back. So, so, so what your map shows is that the Black Aztec shows up at Ben's house, and that's the red dot for the center. This one right here. Okay. That's her house. Yep. This is where we are right now. Mm -hmm. And then when you zoom in to 85, there are those three ponds there. And then there's this one, this, like these are, these are inside the circle of the, their houses. Between their houses, yeah. Yeah, and this, in essence, that's home for him right now because that's where she is and that's where he is. And this looks deep too. I mean, I don't know, but. It looks like it. Looks like you can get a car in here. Yeah, you can drive it right on in. Here. Well, that's where you would be. Yep. It's only three and a half feet right there. Um, let's see where we at. So we're here facing this way. Over there. There was a potential place back in the day to get in. So let, let's drive, let's drive down and around onto the next loop over there and then see if we can get in, or, get in over there and test it. No. Nope. Yeah, you're not getting a car You're not there, getting a car through that. So we gotta go test that over there. I also want to point out what this lake looks like. A fish. Shark. A fish. Yeah. Made with fins. So the psychic is right. All right, well, let's go see. Hey, sir, what's up? Hey, bro, hey, can you drop me a pin at your location? Where you at? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the fish lake. Not, not the one that you went to, but I'm at a new one. I'll, sh I'll send it to you. Yeah, drop me a pin. Okay, cool. Oh, bye. Okay, bye. See, look at this right here is where the road is at. They used to come out here. Look, see? Perfect to drive in right here. Yeah, the psychic said fish. I would have probably driven it over the the uh, cart bridge. But in 2015, this was actually a golf course, or was it still, it was it vacant then too? I think it was vacant. Mm. That's right, even uh, more interesting. Ten feet. There's your car right in here. You can get vacant it. golf course. Yeah. Go bring it to the golf course. It's vacant. Yeah. Ten feet. I mean, you got to get it through all this mud. It's, it, it, you know, again, it's October. Yeah, we got to put the boat in. Got to put it in. Are we putting it in here or are we putting it on the other side at the... Uh... Oh, it was a lot easier over there, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, let's go back over there. We found the fish lake. I know, I see you got another one. There was actually three fish lakes that shaped like fish. Yeah, oh yeah. The, uh, well, the other one was kind of like a cut up fish though. Did you Did you make it into that one? We did, it was too shallow. The one uh, that the psychics were talking about? Yeah. It was like three feet deep. And... We've only put the boat in four, four bodies times. of water. Four bodies of water Everything today. is just incredible. We've, we've bobbered 15 bodies of water, all too shallow. We've only, we've only gone in one, haven't we? Yeah, we've gone in two. Did we go in two? You're gonna dump a car in the water, and you know you got your entire life riding on that. This is not a stolen car. You gotta know you it's got deep enough. fingerprints in that car, this is linked to a murder. You're gonna put it in a body of water that you are confident it's gonna be deep enough, something bigger, something we spoke about boat ramps. So what we're willing to do is, uh, we'll work right through the night. The biggest boat ramps are all on the intercoastal waterway. Eddie Obviously had a lot of ties time. to the Pensacola area. This was his stopping ground growing up and all that area was the Pensacola area. So the, the one thing that's consistent is the three hours between both of their stories, that's consistent. Yep. 
So how is, does he have an... That's just on the other side of it. Does he have an accomplice? Does he have an accomplice? I think he did. Yes, yes. No we way. discussed it. We yeah. think he did. With the more we think about this, this is such a rural area, there's no way you're dumping a car in a body of water without somebody helping you. Now, so, now, now, now is, we're thinking Colleen is his accomplice. Yeah. Now, now, we're also understanding that it's roughly noon. And he's dead. Yeah. So you're getting it from Colleen and you're getting it from Ben, whose stories don't jive. It just doesn't make, Colleen's story doesn't make sense what she's saying. Oh, he dis he comes back on foot after this and that three hours. She, this, remember, this is the same girl that helped him rob a bank, by the way. You oh, don't I think she's gonna help him get rid of a car? Now remember, after he's dead though, she pointed the finger and said she didn't do it on purpose, that it was all him that made her do it. Yeah. Under dress. So well, it's easy to yeah. do that when the yeah, other person is. And, and, and at the end of the day, I mean, she's still alive. So I want to give her the benefit of the doubt that that's yeah. a real legit story. I mean, you know a lot of, you know, battered women that they yeah. do things when they don't want to. So I would love to believe that she's innocent in all this. Yeah. So like we, we need a, a deep body of water that has that, yeah. that depth. Like this has something. Some confidence. This is, this is close to the house. Yeah. So, this is in between both houses and it's 10 feet deep and it's a, a vacant abandoned golf course. Yeah. yeah. So that that kind of almost makes sense. Like, go yeah. to the golf, yeah, Colleen goes, bring this it to the golf course. One. Oh, yeah. Bring it to the golf course. I saw this one, I'm like, wow, this, this is a good one. All right, let's go check it out. not going to be enough vegetation once we get down to actual depth. We just wanted to verify it over here. I can see through the vegetation also. Guaranteed. Right there. What is that? Not big enough. I mean, it looks like something. I don't think it's a car, though. It's only it's only like a foot, foot and a half tall. Not a car. Dude, the car's gonna be right down here. That's where it's gonna be. Come on, give me a car. See, there's some nice bottom there with no vegetation. Eight feet. Nothing there. We still have some uh, places over here and over there, so. 12 feet. Something flat right there. Not a car though. Let's go double check that. Ah, it's just a log. You can tell when we spun around right there. Shallow again. So, was it just, was it super shallow? Oh, shallow. No, he's got down to 12 feet. Oh, wow. Yeah. Let me know if you have any any ideas in this area. We just got over there. We just we went out over those three. Okay. Could not get in any of them. All fenced off. And as you get the one, the one that looked like a chopped up fish. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Okay. Uh, uh, this one. We've got that, and then you know, like I said, we've got the Hail Mary, the boat ramps out at the, you know, the big area. I just think we're, I think we should clear everything that is in these circles around his house and her house first. Make sure that 
there's not a possibility that he's there close. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, we got to get Bill back up to uh, Laurel Hill to get his car, and then I think we'll uh, we're gonna go to dinner and then get okay. ready for tomorrow. Yeah, okay. You, you want me to put this for dinner? Are you shutting down? Are you going to keep going? Or? We're going to keep going, yeah. Okay. We, we, do, we, we love doing this Night at nighttime. Owls. So I think we're going to go hit some of the... We're going to go just... This is going to be Hail Mary. We're going to go on the idea that his mindset was, I want to get rid of this car while I know for sure that that sucker is going to sink. And, is, you know, I don't have to worry about it, you know? So two things. There's a, uh, there's a lake to the west over here. Did yeah. you see that one? I have not. I haven't looked at the map in this... And, and, and I didn't mark that one, but then also that I had marked. Maybe we, we'll go out to eat with you, and then we'll go out after that, because like I said, we'll stay out really late. Okay. So, so, so follow me on this one. What if what if both Ben and Colleen are in on this, com not conspiracy, but um, accomplice, and because remember, we have information that Colleen's sister lived over on Popcorn. Yeah. Okay. We also have an address for Eddie over on Popcorn. What town's Popcorn in again? That's that's not. That, that was called that something. That's Dufuniac. Okay. It is Dufuniac. Yeah. Okay. So so that's the thing is right now we're so focused up here that maybe Do you want that, to stay may, at the Funiac town? May, maybe they're throwing us off of staying away from this area. I know. It's, it's it's a minor right. point in the story, meaning it's just a, a blip with an address. Right. It has nothing else but a PO box and a and a you know a popcorn address. That's but we also have an address that her sister lived over here on in Dufu, in uh, Dufuniac, over here on Popcorn. And then once upon a time, both of them lived down in Mossy Head. So really, Mossy, if he'd lived in Mossy Head before, this is really is his territory down yeah, here. Yeah, his home. Yeah. Right. So are that's we right. being thrown off? With the Laurel Hill story. With the Laurel Hill story. Yeah. I, that's, I, I agree that's a very big possibility. But I, I still want to clear yeah. this section first because we still have a bunch of ponds and a bunch of subdivisions like this where the, like this is an old golf course. It's no longer here. Yeah. It's a perfect spot if this was abandoned in 2015 to go down one of these trails, yeah. Aztec over the bridge, dump it in a golf pond, and then it's gone. Yeah. But but here's the thing. He knows Mossy Head and he knows Defuniac. We don't have anything that ties him to Florida until a week or two after this incident. Agreed. Agreed. We don't have anything that says anything mm. about Alabama. I mean, we hear Kentucky, we hear all these other things, but I don't, yeah. I haven't said, I haven't heard anything that said, like, he lived here and he knows this area really well, that he fished here, he did this. Yeah. We don't have anything I, that says Some that. research I did online, I know that he did have a lot of ties to the Pensacola area. I believe he may have even grown up in that area. I saw that he was arrested multiple times in Pensacola. Mm hmm. So, I mean, that's a little... That's why you're going to go south. I was thinking, just, you know, on the other side of I-10, just, like, look at the maps and, you know, what's that one big smoking gun? Look at this lake and that big giant boat ramp, you know? I, I guess clear here, you clear down there, and then work your way to Mossy Head, maybe? And yeah. we clear here and work our way towards clearing this section up towards that, that spring section where there's larger lakes. Yeah, that, I, it seems like it, we've been out to a couple of them last night and they're really deep out there. That the Funiac Springs, 72 feet deep. The, uh, the Funiac Lake yep. is 72 feet. It's, it's like this as you come off the boat ramp, it just keeps going down, down, down to like this. Let, let, let's break it down tonight. Let's look at it. Because I, I didn't do any radiuses as far as searching anything in those I areas. Oh, I get it. So. Yeah, I think, I think we just, I want to make sure that we clear that section up there with those five ponds, or at least put our eyes on it, put the drone on it, see if they even, because those are the biggest ones in this circle that connect to the Laurel Hill circle, just so we know that, because the other ones are in the back pond, backyards of people. Right. These are big, big ponds, and they're the biggest ones in this section that there's a possibility. Clear those, and then we can get out of the Laurel Hill and the uh, Ben slash Colleen circles. All right. So we've given you a lot of information. We've covered a lot of ground today. If you have not heard of Mike, I have a link in the description down below. Definitely check him out. He's only on Facebook. Facebook, yeah. And so, you know, follow what everything that he's doing. He continues to post his updates as to where he's searching. And, uh, you know, with his brother John here, you know, they've really covered a lot of territory and they've done a lot of good this past year finding six people now. So we appreciate having you guys out. We appreciate each and every one of you. So if you've not subscribed to us, please do so because that helps the algorithm and that helps how we're able to fund this. Also, like I said, check out Mike's link as well. Other than that, be sure to check out link two or for day two. The link is in the description down below as well. We're going to continue the search tomorrow. Yeah, I think you guys are going to be putting a boat in. Stay this, is, this is a place you dump a car. You might find a car in here. That's right below us, huh?